Hi everybody and welcome. We're just back from the Houteng launch where it was good to see loads of users after so many years. The last three years of course have been online only. A couple of admin points before we look at what we've got in Caddy 29 for you. First of all, as usual, it's time to end of life one of our previous products, Caddy 26 this year. As you probably know, we keep the current version and the last two versions maintained. So if anybody is still using uh, Caddy 26, support will be stopped for that at the end of the year. One thing I'm sure you're familiar with is our cloud licensing program, which allows you to have your license up in the cloud on one of our servers. And then you can just sign in from any machine wherever you have Caddy loaded. And if you have a free license available, it'll use it. You can check out licenses if you want to go to somewhere where you don't have internet access, or you can just use it direct from the cloud. This has been ideal for people working from home or flexibly with no risk of loss or theft for their licenses. A couple of things that uh, you may or may notice we've been up to during the year. Our website's had an upgrade with a new look and feel with all the classroom based courses on a calendar. We've created many videos uh, with over 280,000 views of the Caddy videos on our caddysoftware.com YouTube channel. We've also introduced a number of new online training courses. Now we have the Getting Started, the Survey, the DTM, VIEW, AEC and GIS. A couple of our continuing initiatives that are worth mentioning. We offer free educational software for any registered students and our Student Placement Software License Programme, which allows employers who have students coming to work for them for short periods of time to have access to a full Caddy professional. And of course, those students can access one of our training courses. As far as development is concerned, we're partway through a multi-year project to update our graphics engine, which will give us much more performance in a future version. But for 29, we have more catalogue content. We have STL for 3D printing, that's been improved. Our RAID product that analyzes data and creates heat maps. We have many enhancements to our view photorealistic rendering. And we have a whole load of new land survey tools courtesy of cadastral computing. The GIS, which was introduced a lot over the last couple of years, gives us complete integration between GIS and CAD, giving you the information that you need without leaving your desk. We've added support for solids and surfaces and a completely new PDF export, which gives us a smaller file size, faster export, higher quality, better security, and also 3D content. We have a fabulous community of users giving us lots of pointers as to what you want to see. It's interesting to see that the highest number of requests is for making presentation drawings more quickly from models. It's getting more difficult to win jobs, but those spending time on higher quality presentation appear to be the ones booming. Most of the functionality you see today is from user requests. So over the next 12 months, we're going to be working on the graphics engine integration, a lot of user requests, IFC improvements, some emerging technologies that we keep watching, the digital twins, Internet of Things, AI, 3D printing, and much more. So keep the wishes coming, and hopefully you'll see the stuff that you ask for being built into a future version of Caddy. So now let me hand over to Charles, who'll give you a run through of some of the new features in Caddy 29. Thank you very much.